Hi, my name is Jack and I'm an educator in Seattle, Washington. I work with my students and other teachers to create safe learning environments. As a blogger, I receive a lot of sales pitches via email that have to do with quote unquote 21st century learning products, e-learning products, mobile learning products, websites, collaborative environments, and online schools. One of my guilty pleasures is looking at philosophy statements of schools. And in all of this written media, I've noticed there's a few words that keep popping up again and again. The words all happen to be adjectives. Lots of companies are interested in creating a creative space. Schools and e-learning solutions are excited to offer collaborative experiences. And everyone likes to believe that what they're doing is innovative. These words are exciting, they're relevant, they're 21st century, but they don't mean much to a teacher in the classroom day to day. I can't teach a child to be creative, collaborative, or innovative. Because creative is an adverb. It means relating to or involving the imagination or original ideas. I can't make a student do this. I can't make myself do this. So while creative is a great goal, it's not a path to a goal. I can, however, teach a student to create. I can work with a student to bring something into existence, whether that's building, or recording, or writing, or brainstorming, or any number of verbs, any number of things that we can do in order to create. And through the process of creation, again and again, we get better at the process of creating, to the point that what we do might be labeled creative. Collaborative is no different. We all want to work in collaborative spaces. We think it's important for students and adults to be collaborative, meaning characterized or accomplished by collaboration. But that isn't how we get there. We can't just be collaborative. We can, however, work on collaborating. And in the classroom, that means working jointly on an activity, especially to produce or create something. To collaborate takes practice. It takes teamwork, negotiation, compromise. You have to be an active listener to collaborate. These are all skills that can be taught and practiced, and over time, we get better at them until at some point, we realize that we are a collaborative individual. We want to be innovative. We want our schools to be innovative, our products to be innovative. Well, innovative means featuring new methods, advanced and original. It's not actionable. It's not a verb. The verb form, of course, is innovate, meaning to make changes in something. And there's so many exciting opportunities to innovate in the classroom. To help a student innovate is to facilitate and to guide a learning process that's largely internal, but that is authentic and meaningful for the student. So no matter your method of information dissemination, whether you're a lecture-style formal teacher, whether your curriculum is completely emergent and student-centered, or whether you flow freely across the spectrum depending on the day and the needs of the classroom and the project, and the students in the environment, we're all hoping to get to the same place, which is creating a knowledgeable individual. Many of us are interested in helping that student feel good about the process of learning. And we don't get there using adjectives. Adjectives are descriptive, but we need to be using the verb forms of these words in the classroom. We're not talking to students about being innovative. We're teaching them to reimagine and deconstruct we want students discussing and dissenting and sharing and painting and writing and performing and tinkering. All of these things are actionable. All of these words are exciting. All of these words together create a place where learning can happen, where the process of discovery propels the learning forward, ideally resulting in creative, collaborative, innovative learners, including the teacher. So while these words are a reasonable goal for a school or for a student or a product, let's remember the day-to-day -day work exists in the verbs. Thanks for listening. What action will you take next?